The Life and Sad Ending of Lee Thompson Young Lee Thompson Young was born February 1st, 1984 in Columbia, South Carolina, the son of Velma Elaine and Tommy Scott Young. He was in the second grade when his parents' marriage ended and he went to live with his mother. At age 10, he portrayed Martin Luther King Jr. in a play called A Night of Stars and Dreams by Dwight Woods and the Phyllis Wheatley Repertory Theater of Greenville, South Carolina. Lee Thompson Young's star quality has graced the stage, the small screen, and the big screen from an early age. It inspired him to pursue a career as an actor. Young moved to New York City in June 1996, but it was not until the next year that he auditioned for the part of Jet Jackson in The Famous Jet Jackson. And then he became famous for that role. He filmed the pilot and found out in June 1998 that the Disney Channel had picked up the show. Young also starred in Johnny Tsunami 1999, another Disney Channel original movie, as Sam Sterling. Although the movie was successful, he did not reprise the role in the sequel, Johnny Kapahala, Back on Board, 2007. After the cancellation of the famous Jet Jackson, Young had guest spots in the TV series The Guardian. He also had a part in the movie Friday Night Lights in 2004, portraying Chris Comer, and a part in the Jamie Foxx movie Redemption, The Stan Tookie Williams Story in 2004. In 2006, Lee appeared on UPN's TV drama series South Beach, and he portrayed Victor Stone, known in DC Comics as Cyborg, in a fifth season episode of the television series Smallville, which character he reprised in the season six episode called Justice, aired January 18th, 2007, and again in the season nine finale Salvation, aired May 14th, 2010. Young also appeared in the feature film Aquila and the Bee, 2006, playing Aquila's brother, Devin. He played National Guard rookie Delmar in The Hills Have Eyes 2 in 2007. Young graduated with honors from the University of Southern California, where he majored in cinematic arts and was a member of the Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. Young enjoyed writing and wrote the screenplay for the 2007 short film Mono. In 2009, Young played a cocky surgical intern at the hit comedy show, Scrubs. It was revealed that his character had been overweight during childhood. The character becomes involved in a romance with one of the medical interns. Young played the role of Al Goff, an FBI agent in the ABC television drama Flash Forward. He was written off the show in episode 7 when his character committed suicide to prevent the death of an innocent civilian. His last acting role was playing Barry Frost, partner of Jane Rizzoli, played by Angie Harmon, on the TNT drama Rizzoli in Isles. And he made an appearance on the Fox drama The Good Guys as the brother and business partner of an arms dealer. On August 19th, 2013, Young failed to show up to film an episode of Rizzoli and Isles. Police were called to do a well-being check on him at his Los Angeles apartment where he was found dead. He was only 29 years old. Police confirmed the cause of death as a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Young had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder for which he had been taking medication and had been suffering from depression before his death. After funeral services at Inglewood Park Cemetery, Young was interred at Lakeview Memorial Garden, York, South Carolina. A three-hour memorial service was held on the Paramount Studios lot.